Okay, it's 9 a.m., so let's, uh, let's get started. So really, uh, welcome to Les Pensières, finally. Uh, finally for you, but finally for us, because the, we didn't have uh, a physical meeting here for uh, quite a long period of time. And uh, we're going to go through uh, another introductory briefing. Um, we had the, together the, the briefing two months ago, so I'm not going to repeat the details that I presented to you two months ago. I'll cover some uh, other stuff. If that thing works, that will be good. Uh, well. Okay, so finally we started from 75 participants and due to a number of circumstances and mostly challenges for some to get visas. Uh, which is really unfortunate. Uh, you are 71, 71 from 39 countries, and a couple of participants will join in the course of the of the day. Uh, one person, as you may know, got tested uh, positive and is uh, following uh, up, up to when uh, she is uh, negative. Is following the the course from uh, from a room. So the course. I told you in detail about that, you got the objectives, you got the program, I'm not going to come back to that much, but to say that truly the idea is to give you a broad view of the various aspects of vaccinology. Every one of you has their own area of expertise and you are probably an expert in a, in a very narrow area, some in a, in a wider area. And the idea is to inform you about what's out there and very much to exchange between each other. Uh, as we stressed before, it's important that you participate. Uh, the lectures are constrained in time and we wanted to leave much time for discussion. You will have the opportunity also of the small group exercises, informal debates, parallel uh, working group sessions and the interactive uh, uh, optional sessions. Networking is there for you, networking between yourselves, networking with the lecturers. And because it's so important that you participate, we are awarding some prizes for being uh, um, participative, just to stimulate you a bit. <laughs> so some elements of organization. We certainly hope uh, that you successfully manage to block potential work-related interferences. And if you haven't succeeded yet, it's still time. <laughs> the, all the course material will be on one repository on Moodle. Hopefully you should all have already accessed the platform. If there's one of you who had challenged to access the platform now, let us know, raise your hand. I'm, I'm interested to know. No, okay. Or oh, you're shy. You will have some mentorship for the duration of the course. I'll come back to that. There'll be also multiple choice questions, one per lecture, but for each of the lectures. And you'll find these questions in Moodle, but you'll find them only after the presentation is, is done. Um, during the discussion period, you, you will have time for quite a few questions, but if you have additional questions that remain unanswered, you will have an opportunity to email these questions to the lecturer and I explain you the process so that these questions get answered, but not only they get answered for you, but they will get answered for everybody because the answer will be also posted on the Moodle repository. As you know, we ask you your preference about the, the breakout groups for some of the groups and uh, we've set the groups, you've received the list and no changes will be, will be permitted. If it's only for those who didn't sign up for some optional sessions, if you change your mind and you finally want to add your name to one of these sessions, you're free to do so. But otherwise we balance participation and it's very important for us to keep the groups the way they are. Hopefully you all got, you know, either your first choice for the vast majority or your second choice anyhow. We, uh, as you know, we will have uh, an introduction. All of us will introduce ourselves later today. So as I said before, be prepared to introduce yourself within one or two minutes max. And the idea is not to tell us, you know, how good a professional you are, but more to tell us about your family, about your hobbies, and uh, again, foster some uh, 
some connections. Um, for the networking with the lecturers, if we let the lecturers do whatever they want, they all sit at the same table at lunch or at dinner because they know each other. They haven't seen each other, especially these days for the last two years, and they want to talk. So we're going to be nasty with the lecturers. We're going to force them to sit at a specific table with their name in big letters so that you can spot where they are. And if you want a privileged interaction with these people when they stay, then you can sit at their, at their table. And for your information, there'll be some live streaming. And we are doing that uh, to facilitate participation from a few people. So it's not public live streaming by far, but we are giving that possibility to a few uh, people to benefit from some of the lectures, e.g. some of the uh, CEPI staff. So some updates about the course. Unfortunately, unfortunately, although it is a physical course, some faculty were unable to travel for a number of reasons. At times, it's, uh, these are unfortunate family reasons. And a few will be involved uh, virtually, but live. The facilitators for the breakout sessions and the workshops, they all will be on site. Uh, a little change is the optional session on the AEFI causality assessment that was to take place on the early afternoon of, uh, of Saturday. We had no choice but to advance this session to the Friday evening because the uh, uh, person, the facilitator, was coming from WHO to do the session. Unfortunately, there's been a change in the mission for regulatory assessment, and there's no, no other choice. So it'll be at uh, 7.15. But don't worry, you'll be served in the, uh, in the room where the uh, session will take place. Uh, so you won't miss uh, dinner and you'll be able, for those staying at the Le Muse Hotel, you'll be able to get your bus uh, at the right time. And then you'll be given also a possibility this week, uh, actually on the 11th on Wednesday, to uh, join the ADVAC alumni meeting that is organized during in connection with SPEED. So it, you're not forced to do it. Again, it's uh, entirely optional, but if you want to, uh, to attend, you will be in this room. And that has been time again to allow you to, uh, to follow the, uh, the session. And that session will be on the impact of COVID on pneumococcal disease in children. So I want to introduce you very briefly to the, uh, the team of mentors. And these people um, will be there for the two weeks of the course. It's a multidisciplinary team. Uh, we have uh, a regulator, uh, Peter Niels. We have uh, uh, somebody who is uh, immunology uh, background, uh, Arno, and so on. So you all have been assigned to, uh, to a particular mentor. And the idea is to help you get the best out of the course. So, you have a privileged person to talk to, uh, to share concerns, challenges, don't be shy, to follow up for any follow-up questions. And if, if you're shy to interact with faculty, which you should not, the mentor will also facilitate interaction with the faculty. Uh, we are planning a first meeting with the mentors tonight. It'll be brief, it'll be before dinner, and it'll be after the round of, of introduction. It'll be inside or outside, depending on the weather and the mood of the, of the mentors. Um, Romina is one of the mentors, and Romina probably already started to chase you up. She will interact with you all along the course uh, with everybody, and she will build actually the, uh, the, um, the uh, highlights at the end of the course, which is actually a very important uh, presentation. I come back to the issue of the unanswered questions. So if you have still burning questions after a lecture unanswered, send an email to Romina and in the title line, put questions for John Smith, send it to her, you have her email address and she will channel the, the question to the, uh, to the faculty. So let's talk a bit about the Moodle platform. That slide, I'll, I'll basically go very fast because uh, nobody raised a hand before. I know that you all were able to access, so it's great. And that'll be the platform where you find the program, the presentations, the videos, faculty and participants, biosketch, and additional resources when they are. 
Uh, that's a bit how it uh, will now look like with the program. That's not what you saw up to now because that uh, should have been activated either over the weekend or will be activated today. And for each day, you'll have the program. And the nice thing is that when you go, um, I want to show you two things. I want to show you first that we're dead serious and we have to be dead serious about the declaration of interest. We don't want biases in the scientific content of the program. We have some presenters from industry clearly identified. We believe that nobody else than somebody working on manufacturing vaccine can best present and tell you about vaccine manufacturing. Uh, but it's important. It's important also for the accreditation process. It's important for you to know, and you'll find the compilation of the declarations of interest here in the general information section of the Moodle repository. And then if you click on the program, if you go over the name of the participants of the faculty, here you see the short bio for Aurelia. And if you go at the bottom of the short bio, then for each of them, you'll see a conflict of interest disclosure and you'll be able to click there and to see what have been reported. So we don't want to take time off each lecture and have lengthy declarations of interest, but it's all there for you to look at before, during, and after the, the lectures. In terms of the preparation, so we ask you to do some pre-reads for the exercises that, that you were assigned to. And I hope you did. You did uh, look at the pre-reads. If you did not, however, you still have time to prepare. And it's particularly important for exercise two, not only for exercise two as well for the others, because we don't have a luxury of time. So you need to be well prepared when you jump in the, the, the session. We need also some preparation for the media session. So you'll, be, you'll see it's a, it's a thrilling session that we have at the end of the course with a, a, a previous journalist from the BBC. And uh, she's really a character uh, to say the least and very energetic. And um, uh, she's requesting uh, that you send to her, you could uh, make it available via WeTransfer, uh, that she received video clips, uh, interviews that uh, you may have done on, on TV or that, that um, you may have been taped talking to parents or whomever. So it doesn't have necessarily to be with, with journalists, uh, but it's important that you send that ahead of time and she will use that potentially if you accept as part of her session, and it's very useful. The people who did share did not regret because it, it, it uh, helped them get more coaching about how they, they deliver interviews. Uh, Edwin will send you a reminder, um, uh, uh, basically, and uh, also uh, um, uh, prepare you for some other part of the, of the session. Uh, for two debates, we need volunteers. Okay, for the first de uh, uh, debate, which is on the, from ideas to implementation, the realities of funding for vaccine research and development. Um, if you volunteer to briefly present your project for funding, then you contact Emily Erbelding. Emily, please stand up so people can see you. You can email, contact her, she's here. For the, and the, that debate is uh, coming very shortly, actually in, uh, in a couple of days. So you really need to contact her very quickly. For the other debate, does the vaccine have to protect against a VPD that kills to matter to politicians and parents? We have a bit more time, but we also need volunteers. Because the facilitator is not there, uh, Ron Dagen, please contact me if you are willing to, uh, to be involved in the debate. The course evaluation, as you know, will be online. So I remind you that you have to make sure that you receive the emails from this email address at even at unish.ch. The system will be entirely automated and every day by 5 p.m. you will receive the link for the evaluations of the day. You will also receive um, a reminder if you haven't completed by the early morning on the following day. It's very, very important for us that you complete that. It's critical to help improve the course, but also it's critical for the awarding of the credits because the accreditation body doesn't want to give more credits than their evaluation forms. 
The precourse evaluation was conducted. Thank you. Uh, we got quite a good uh, um, um, set of, of answers. And to your benefit, because that's because of these pre-assessment that we added to optional sessions, uh, which obviously generated then a lot of interest. And we also, when there was specific uh, uh, insight uh, to be provided to a lecture, we did provide that, uh, that feedback to the lecture. But many of what you provided was actually very reassuring. And you will see that actually uh, I think you'll be you'll be well served by the in particular during the discussion period or by the by the panel session. Uh, so daily evaluation, final evaluation at the end, and then we'll ask you for a commitment to change and 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 we'll follow up on your commitment to change. So each day we count on you to answer the multiple choice questions, to complete the evaluation to interact as you see fit with par other participants, faculty, your mentor, and very much think of what you've learned. So I stress that, I stress that, uh, and actually there's um, uh, uh, here in red, after each half daily session, you'll be given 10 minutes of time for yourself to silently think about what you've learned through the previous session. It's very important and it will help you also think your commitment to change down the road for the final evaluation. So some special events that will take place during the course. We'll have uh, the uh, presentation by uh, Drew Weissman on the understanding of mRNA vaccines on Thursday this week. And then next week we will have Dan Barouche present on the vaccine vector platforms for COVID-19. On Sunday, you will be taken outside uh, along the, the mountains to discover the local environment. So there'll be a mountain tour and you'll have uh, a local uh, uh, lunch. And for those of you who are interested to come back fast, then you can take <laughs> paragliding and you come straight to Les Pensiers. You don't necessarily have to do that. You also will have a very important feature of FADVAC is the soccer game South against the North. So we used to have Stanley Plotkin here in the middle as a referee, but admittedly, he never knew the rules of soccer. So this year, actually, we've uh, asked uh, our uh, uh, intern Florentin to serve as referee. And Florentin knows the rules of soccer very well. And he'll have sign up list for those of you who are interested to, to play and uh, no gender distinction. So whoever wants to play, play, but you just have to choose your camp. On the 17th of May, there will be three alumni coming here with diverse background. We will present how impact impacted, uh, how advax impacted on their career and how they see the future of vaccinology. So we'll have uh, uh, Sonali uh, Kochar, uh, Charles Wizongi, and Kamel Senussi. And then uh, one of the high times also of the course, although I would say that the high time is really the content and the lectures and the exercises, <laughs> but for some really the gala dinner is a high time. So you'll be given to tour the, the, the Mountain Castle. There'll be a reception and we'll have a few uh, uh, special ceremonies as part of that including actually the awarding of the prizes. So as I said, prizes for the best discussants with uh, books given by the offers of the book and the dedicas uh, to you from the offers. Um, and then uh, the most social or friendly advocate will get a surprise gift. I can only tell you right now that it will be something local. And then uh, the best responses to the multiple choice questions will win a travel to an alumni uh, meeting. Uh, CME credits and certificates will be awarded at the end of the course, uh, but really participation is, uh, is mandatory. Um, and uh, as uh, hopefully all of you have realized, there's a sign up sheet at the entrance of the room. And if you haven't signed, uh, you can sign when you get out for the uh, for the break, but it's very important for us. So let's enjoy the course and let's avoid also COVID circulating. Thank you. Okay.